Hello everyone. Welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take a problem from JE Advanced from 2014. In this problem, we are facing a little scary equation. We are facing with limit and the fraction that we have and we need to find its limit has two parts. For denominator, we have negative a times x plus sine of x minus 1 plus a and for the denominator we have x plus sine of x minus 1 minus 1. We need to take this fraction to the power of 1 minus x over 1 minus square root of x. Then we need to find the limit of the whole expression when x moves towards 1. At the end, the problem said that we know this limit is equal to 1 over 4 and we are looking forward to find the value that we can have for a. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. See you in a bit. To solve this problem, let's consider the equation that we have again. We have sine, we have x minus 1, we have negative ax and a, and we have 1 minus square root of x. And we know that x moves toward 1. Remember the very well known equation that we have for limit. We know that limit of sine of x over x when x moves towards 0 is 1. Here, I'm going to try to solve this problem using this. To solve this, obviously, I need to find sine over x. Or, let's say that I need to find sine of t over t when t moves towards 0. Let's try to construct this from the equation that we already have from the problem. First, I'm going to rearrange the value that we have in the denominator. We have negative ax and we have a and I'm going to move towards having a minus ax. And then I'm going to just write sine of x minus 1 as is. For the denominator, I'm going to use the same thing. I'm going to write sine of x minus 1 as is, but I'm going to rearrange what I have for x and negative 1 and write it as x minus 1. For the exponent of this fraction, I'm going to write 1 minus x as 1 minus square root of x times 1 plus square root of x. And then let's keep everything else as is. Now let's simplify what we got. We are going to factor out a from a and ax and write it as a times 1 minus x. Everything else is pretty straightforward. What I'm going to do, I'm going to divide what I have in the denominator by x minus 1. So sine of x minus 1 is going to be sine of x minus 1 over x minus 1. On the other hand, a times 1 minus x is going to be negative a. For the denominator, I'm going to divide it by x minus 1 again. I'm going to end up with sine of x minus 1 over x minus 1. And then I'm going to end up with 1 for x minus 1 over x minus 1. So we are done with the fraction. What we are going to do with the exponent? For the exponent, I'm going to remove 1 minus square root of x from denominator and denominator. Remember, x is not 1. So we are not removing 0 from top and bottom. But x moves towards 1. So at the end, what I have is a fraction 
that is sine of t over t if we set x minus 1 as t and then for the fraction we just have 1 plus the square root of x now let's find the limit of this expression to find this limit we are going to use 1 for limit of sine of x minus 1 over x minus 1 when x moves toward 1 a we can just write it as a for sine of x minus 1 over x minus 1 again we are going to use 1 we are going to just write 1 as 1 and then for what we have for the exponent when x moves towards 1 1 plus the square root of x is going to be 2 so the equation that we have is going to be 1 minus a over 1 plus 1 to the power of 2 is equal to 1 over 4 so we are going to write 1 over 4 as plus minus 1 over 2 to the power of 2 and then 1 minus a is going to be plus minus 1 and a is going to be 0 or 2 and both of these are valid and this concludes our solution thanks for watching the video if you would like to see more puzzles math involved activities and problems from different math competitions and olympiads please kindly subscribe to this channel